mean by k means so k means is a unsupervised uh, unsupervised uh, algorithm used for clustering uh, applications so it is a uh, it is used for the data where the groups are not labeled but only one thing is that for k means we have to define the number of cluster you want uh, for the uh, output so k stands for the number of clusters which you you want to generate for from the data provided this uh, is done without the unlabeled data set of its own without the need of any training so there is no need of a training or uh, uh, input parameters so that you can find the uh, for doing the clustering so what happens in k means clustering it has got two tasks determine the best value of k center points or centroids and assign each data to its uh, center so if this is the data provided um, for clustering then the mean of whatever the k assumed as equal to 3 so 3 star points are taken randomly as a mean of all these data points and from that k means the distance of each point is calculated so those three means will start moving according to their uh, closeness with the data and finally a uh, three groups will get formed and at the center of these three uh, three uh, clusters lies the centroid of the cluster so that is the algorithm from starting from the unclassified uh, data to a classified data by means of a means uh, mean of the data and the distance of all the um, data points with its center is calculated and mean of that is the next uh, k for calculating the distance so how k means algorithm works you have to first specify the number of cluster then you have to initialize randomly the centroid points depending upon the k if k is 2 you have to you have to specify the um, uh, three points if it k is equal to you have to specify two points as a centroids and if it is k is three you have to specify three different random points from which the centroids will start um, a new centroid will get calculated depending upon the distances so this is a iterating uh, software so it will start iterating to find the new centroid for the next iteration and this will continue until there is no change in a centroid means no considerable change in a centroid compute the sum of the square distance between data points and all centroids so it finds the distances between data points and all centroids wherever it is a low or small distance that is assigned to uh, one cluster assign each data point closest to cluster or centroid compute the centroids for the cluster by taking average of all the data points that belongs to each cluster so whichever the um, data points collected by that cent, uh, old center again the average of that distance is taken and forms the new center that way the algorithm iterates to find the final clusters so when it stops this iteration when there is no considerable change in the new centroid then the iterations will stop and the uh, algorithm will end so we will now start with the collab and for uh, uh, clustering we will consider the mall customers data which is provided by Kaggle so Mm, what is in the data points is the customer ID there is mm, uh, male female age annual income and then sorry and finally 
spending score so how much is the um, whether they are male female age wise annual income wise or you can find the spending score of uh, the customers and accordingly you can target the customers according to their spending so that is the main aim of k-means so we will start with collab first you just um, take the important uh, basic libraries import numpy and pandas just a minute it is connecting to um, collab platform then already we have downloaded it from the kaggle site it is of site 4.29 kb mallcustomers.csv so that will try to upload around this point so you have to select the file mallcustomer.csv open it it will start uploading as it is a small one it will get uploaded 100 percent then the next sale will read it into a data frames so if you look at this point it is 200 samples with uh, five features that is what is the characteristics of that this database then if you check the head it is customer id age annual income spending score that is considered with a group of scoring is grouped as in between 1 to 100 depending upon their annual income in dollar so if you look this out of these things uh, i think uh, spending score spending of the person depends upon its annual income so if you classify the um, spending score according to the annual income you will come to know what is the spending pattern of the some certain annual income persons that you can understand so what we will do we will drop this um, columns customer id gender age type of um, columns and we will just take this two so this is what i have done here as a new column i have introduced as annual income and a spending one and if you look it will look like this a and b where a is annual income b is a spending pattern this is for the graphic representation of the matplotlib libraries for um, graphics representation of our clustering then if you plot the data points it will look like this now we don't know how many clusters are there and what is that pattern so that we will find out after k means so already in one of the sale here i have imported the import k means library from sklearn sklearn is a libraries of uh, machine learning uh, algorithms in python so that i have already import k means so here i will uh, do k apply k means algorithm with a clusters equal to 5 and we will fit the model then if you print the centers how many centers you have got for the five as a final uh, clusters you will find that it is 55 49 86 82 26 20 like that so there are five centers uh, on which the clusters are formed then we will predict them all the columns we will introduce one more column called as a label uh, which has got one two three four zero one two zero stands for first cluster one two three and four so such a total five uh, clusters in which we have 
classify this uh, whole of our data of uh, 200 rows then if you want to check it how the clusters are formed in graphical ways we can do this way a different color is assigned to different cluster and the star marked as the center of the uh, clusters so the value of these centers these red stars are we have come like this so that is the k means cluster in machine learning we got it in ready-made uh, library so therefore all the processes which we discussed here all these steps are done by uh, that uh, algorithm and we get the final um, clusters and the centroids <clears throat> now one more point how many clusters we must find which are the best uh, clusters possible is uh, we don't know means we have assumed k equal to 5 but how that 5 value is finalized that you can get by what is mean by elbow method so elbow method gives an idea of what is the good number of good number for k whether k should be 4 5 6 that we can find out by means of elbow method and it is based on sum of a square distance between data points and their assigned clusters so sum of square distances are marked against the number of cluster in the elbow method and where it is almost flat that is considered as the point so here if you consider you can take five as a point where after five there is no much change in a uh, clusters no much change in the value of sum of uh, square distances square distances remain same even if you take if you make six clusters seven cluster like that that won't make much difference that's why we have taken it uh, as five so same thing we can plot for our um, is that we can check with the mall data with a different cluster from ranging from 1 to 11 okay so that we will find out by applying k means with different k and then finding their um, errors and uh, um, using it for plotting the uh, k versus some of the square area or some of the square distances if you apply this it shows like this so at 5 the elbow is formed and from then it is almost flat means there is no much difference so that's why we are our value of 5 is correct so this is the about the elbow method used for finding the most possible cluster um, in a k-means algorithm so in short in conclusion you can say k-means clustering is a popular one for algorithm which is iterative type and um, applied for solving cluster tasks with a structured data sets and it forms with a non-overlapping subgroups and the drawback is that it always consider the data is of spherical shapes means that is what we discuss that always it is a spherical uh, spiral or spherical uh, shape type of data so if the data pattern is different it become inefficient and you cannot apply k means for clustering so it suffers from a geometric shapes of clusters that is the main problem of this k means algorithms otherwise it is the simplest one fast and gives a value uh, very quickly Another problem you can say not only of that geo uh, geometric shape but also how much k value you must assume so that you can get through elbow method. So that's all for uh, this one where we have classified small customer data for um, using k means. Thank you. Do share and comment.